What's up guys? Hello, this is uh, your friend XJ. I'm going to show you how to get the best results uh, when video playing video with uh, Windows Media Player. So let's check it out. Now you click here on view, then you go to options. And now you have uh, many different options. We are going to start with player. Now here in player, so you get uh, these options here like history and uh, stuff I don't use any uh, of these so I just keep them to the default uh, but before that I'm going to show you something else you see help here and this is about so now what you see here is that this is a 64-bit Windows 10 version and I use uh, the 32 bit version of uh, Windows Media Player. I don't use a 64-bit because uh, most of my plugins are only uh, available when using this version here. So I advise you not to go to the 64-bit of uh, Media Player Classic because it's not well supported by many plugins at the moment. So let's check here. Now you have the options here. So you have format, As you can see, uh, I did not make Windows Media Player available to use any of these uh, videos here. So uh, just basically the default, I, I am not launching the videos with uh, Media Player Classic. You can click here to associate uh, MP, uh, with, uh, Windows Media Player Classic with, uh, with the videos you want. You click here on Keys. This is something that I changed. Uh, I have put the right arrows for the medium and the left arrows for the medium, uh, respectively forward and backward. And this is what I use, the page down and page up, so that uh, you can move between files on your playlist. Here. Uh, I'm going to the logo here, uh, I keep the, the default logo, the web interface, uh, I don't use it, must be something on the internet, I don't use that, for the playback, now default here, the volume is a little bit high, so I use my my mouse to, to keep it to the 50% or something, the balance, is like the name suggests it is balanced it is three here now the volume all what you see here is default and it works well repeat forever so when it reaches the end of the playlist it goes back uh, right now i am not using dvds but if you use them you click here and uh, everything is going to be all right you click the menu prod for location and stuff like that now one of the most important options is the output. You click on the output here. I am using MadVR. You have others here. But I only use MadVR. It is the best one that I use. High quality renders. This one, it gives me the best results. Uh, now you have the real media video. This is default and this too is default. Now you might not know this, but this is Reclock Audio Render. This one makes the, the video go smoothly with the audio. It corrects it when you change the frame rate of the video. So very useful. Internal subtitle render. You, you can use this for the subtitles. These options here are great because they are not available with uh, Media Player Classic. Uh, but uh, but you don't need that you don't need this at the moment now the shaders I am I'm not using the, these shaders I have other techniques to get the best video results so uh, I'm not using any of these but you can use them if it gives you better results I, I have a, a GeForce uh, 525 um, uh, now for the full screen, 
use the auto change the full screen here as you can see uh, I did not activate it uh, I don't use it because when I, I use the, the, the full screen it goes to the best I don't need to change the frame rate between window and uh, full screen uh, now the same rendering uh, I did not bother to, to check this one uh, this is uh, something on a, a video by video basis so if you have problem with the video you go here and activate it now the capture uh, it says that I have a USB camera I do and uh, the microphone too I have one now you check your country but uh, this is used when you want to record videos now the internal filter I activated all of them all the internal filters now you might uh, try to find out what is this internal filter in fact it's basically the lav filters the LAV or uh, lav if you want this is the lav filters that that I used in Windows Media Player Classic this splitter here it's uh, activated by default you can check, uh, change things here like the queued settings if depends if you have a lot of RAM and now uh, the video decoders here I am keeping all these three on auto and uh, all these are activated they are good format it's activated untouched for the RGB output I don't need to touch something here why touching it so just keep it as a default Difting is ordered now order difting here enable system tray icon to have the icon in the in the bottom right of the screen to, to tell you that you are using it now as I am using a GeForce uh, uh, graphic adaptator so I have Nvidia QVID which is activated I could have used something else but I am using this one now the, uh, the decoders that are activated as you can see they are here codec with hardware decoder and for all the resolutions uh, I'm keeping this one here the output mode uh, adaptive hardware the after lesson output mode is the 25p slash 30p it's for the interlacing as you can see from the description I did not change this one high quality so why bother with low quality when you can get <laughs> uh, high quality so you keep it as has high quality software the interlacing I did not change this one uh, because I have hardware the empty last now you click cancel here the audio switcher enable normalize I did not activate this one but I might do it I might activate it I'm gonna activate it let's activate it okay I did it I will say apply now audio render system default external filter I have FFD show raw video player and lab video decoder which is uh, not used because uh, because it's already activated so uh, this this doesn't change anything uh, for the FF row FFD show row this is used when you uh, use it with the uh, SVP SVP is smooth video player it's a software I'm going to talk about it in uh, in future videos now here's the subtitle the subtitle I did not activate the default style it's basically random the misc prefer forced and default subtitle tweaks when, uh, when I using the tweaks I use fast seek so that uh, the seek is really faster than uh, usual uh, I, I find it better this way 
nearest k frame. Monsieur le Nessus. Uh, now, the brightness and stuff like that I didn't change them. For advanced, hide windows control, block. This, these are random. Fine. These are, uh, let's say that they are the default options. And now I click OK. And uh, basically, this is uh, uh, what I use as uh, my video player when playing videos. So, thanks for watching and uh, see you.